So we'll zoom out on this a little bit. And I'll show you one of the, the quickest ways. This is, this is the lasso bucket. So you'll see over here that this, there's a tool called the, uh, the lasso tool. The hotkey is L by default. Um, it's right here, it's called the lasso tool. And I like the free lasso tool. Um, it's, it's fun. So by using the lasso tool, uh, every, if I touch the lasso down, that marquee won't really work. Um, so, but that's okay. So what I want to do is, is sketch this mushroom a little bit. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll lasso and then I'll bucket fill these shapes. So when you're designing stuff and when you're drawing, shape is always the, the critical thing. Um, so I take the lasso tool and I want this, this generic mushroom shape to come out. So I can start with the top of the mushroom, of one of the mushrooms. And then I can press uh, G, which is paint bucket, or select the paint bucket tool manually. Then I can say, well, it's kind of light, so I can move up on the light, and I can bucket fill that area. Okay, so now I have a shape that represents the top of this, this left mushroom. And then I can come down, and maybe I've selected that shape. That's not a great shape, because it flattens out right there. And then it comes up. And then I can actually select into that, um, make a much darker shape, and fill that area. You'll notice that because I'm working on one layer, it doesn't um, actually fill the entire area that I've selected. And that's because it's running into that. Then I've got a, another mushroom that's actually behind that. So I can select out behind that, come back around, boom. I can select that mushroom shape. And it's gonna be light again, so I select the light color. And there we go, so now I have a shape behind another shape. Then, um, you know, I need a cast shadow under here to kind of convey that there's a cast shadow down here, right? So I need to select a fairly dark dark and bucket fill that. So now it looks like there's one shape on top of another shape, casting that shadow down. Then, I need to come back in and put these stems in um, to just be sure that they work. So the stems are fairly dark, um, so maybe I'll lighten up from that last dark and put those in into those areas. Then I'll come down and put the other stem in. They can be just the same. Then what I can do is because these both cover the ground, I can come down around the ground and I can create a big shape and create a very dark cast shadow for them to sit on. So now I have a couple of mushrooms sketched out really loosely, really quickly. And I've only done that by just creating some simple, simple shapes. And when you zoom out, it really kind of does look like a mushroom. We can then make this way more sophisticated by just getting subshapes and subvalues. So I could take this particular shadow and start transitioning that value out. So I could say, well, if I select my paint tool, um, then I want to go lighter. Um, I can create a little transition shape. And then I can create another one to transition out further. And go slightly lighter by selecting that color oops and filling that and then I can do it again so now I'm actually kind of doing a little more painting right so at any time I can select the eyedropper tool which is right here what the eyedropper to tool does is when you click on an area it um, tells you and selects that color. So if I go between here and here, I have a lot of room, a lot of distance to play around with. So if I select that color, make it darker, I, I can then kind of get the edge transition on this mushroom. I can come back around to the shape and mess with how dark that edge is. Get this side filled in. Right? So now I've got a, the, the side of the mushroom uh, 
that I'm beginning to sketch out. Um, and then what I can do is I can get sub shapes that are a little darker in here. By going just a bit darker there. And then what I've noticed is there's this detail back here where this section is a little lighter than the previous here. So I can select my eyedropper, make it a little lighter, and then refill that area so that my shadow is a little bit better. And then one thing I notice is that this area is definitely lighter than what I've got here. So I can use that same tone to transition and then do a couple more transitionary steps there. And so I can create, I can actually do like full drawings this way and full paintings this way if you really wanted, um, just by filling and changing different values and colors. Um, you know, we'll get into like how to colorize stuff, but this is, this is kind of like method, major method number two, which is like the um, lasso and bucket method. Um, let's see here. We can also hybridize these methods. Like for instance, if I wanted to draw something uh, with just a, a very simple like pen brush um, and black or maybe like a 90% black. I can draw these mushrooms again and use a different method. So what I could do is use line work on a top layer with the with the brush and this line work and and then come back under it. with more sketch stuff. I can even sketch in some damage here and begin to work with elements like texture and so on. Then I can go to the layer under that and I can mix in the lasso bucket in there. So I could say, well, there we go. This side's dark. So I'm going to take the 50% gray, fill that in, and I keep those lines. This little area on the side of this mushroom is dark. So I'm going to select that side, fill that area. That's dark. This area is dark under this mushroom, but it's darker than that. There we go. This one's pretty dark too down here. Under here, we can go fairly dark as well. Um, here we're getting cast shadow information, so we can lasso and bucket fill that with even darker dark. Then we can do the lasso bucket fill on the ground again with a super dark. And there I've got these mushrooms sketched out really quickly using kind of this hybridized method where I use like um, the lasso bucket and sort of this, the line sketch. Um, and these are really fun methods to use because it allows you to, to create an image very, very quickly. Um, 